With Fortnite's Unreal Editor, as a creator, you want to create custom maps and new experiences to play. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make realistic environments and also with custom textures. We're going to go over water, lakes and other landscape features. We can import realistic trees and I'm going to create an animation for an animal that I also made. Also, you're going to see the full workflow of how I created these props and also how I made the environment. So if you do find this helpful in any way, then please like and subscribe and also comment what tutorial i should make next now opening up the unreal editor we're gonna have this file so what i'm gonna do is go to island template i'm gonna start off with a blank so i'm going to show you how to set up the landscape properly add water and everything like that so that folder i'm gonna crash create i'm gonna start off with a blank and there we go we have our blank place now we do not want to be working with this so i'm going to delete these grid planes here you can hold click on one and then hold shift and click on the others or you can do it by doing that click the top one shift or click one and hold control there's many other ways that you can do this now i'm going to just press delete and now we've got this world that we do not like okay so what i'm going to do is add a landscape and we can make this whatever resolution that we want or how big you want to make it i'm just going to keep it as default size now we're not going to do anything yet to the landscape but what we're going to do is add water now we're going to add some rivers lakes or whatever you want so we're going to type in water make sure you're clicking on the fortnite folder this is just an easier way to find it and we're going to scroll down until we find this here as well you could type lake river whatever you want what that you need and i'm going to go show into folder view this is quite the easiest way that i find things instead of going through the whole files you can just type it in then find the folder location and then it takes you there so this is in the fortnite environment and then under water and there we go so now I'm going to add a river to, our, or no, first of all, an ocean. Okay, so I'm just going to literally drag and drop our ocean there. And there we go. Look how easy that was. A massive ocean. Now you can see how big our landscape is by this square. So what I'm going to do is click, make sure that you have the ocean selected, not the landscape. Click on the ocean. We have these like little pins here. Now if I hold Alt, and I click and I would like drag, then I'm going to make a new point that I can drag out and everything. So it makes it a lot easier. One thing that you don't want to do is go over your landscape because you're going to have this happen. Looks pretty cool, but we do not like that. So I'm going to keep it there within our island. There we go. That's more like an island. Something a bit random. Okay, so now we're going to add a river. So what I'm going to do, the same as before, we're going to come down here, drag the river, and there we go. We're going to place it. And automatically, if you put it near, the ocean is going to connect with the river. It's going to connect like that. And yet again, we're just going to hold Alt or press W so you can get this tool here. And you can press W, hold Alt, and then just drag it across again. That looks pretty cool. So the next thing that I'm going to go over is this tool here that is called the island. So if you don't want to sculpt something, you can just use this island tool here and you drag and then drop on your island hasn't done anything but if we drag it up then it's gonna distort the island and it makes it a lot easier because if you want to sculpt a specific shape then you can definitely do that and yet again just hold alt and you can drag it out a very powerful tool this is i can tell now what i'm going to do now is add a tree because i think that's going to be a very cool thing to add and it's not just going to be any tree it's going to be hopefully realistic looking i have this folder where i've exported my model as well i had this one that i made in blender or i tried to make anyways and a few textures i think it turned out pretty good it's not perfect but i like it so it's going to work out for this tutorial so i'm going to drag and drop the fbx and also make sure you have the textures you can obviously get like any model really for free hopefully from sketchfab i think there may be license issues if you're going to use this and publish the map so be careful of that so we're going to drag and drop the fbx into our real engine we're going to have this pop up and we're just going to keep it all the same import all because it should import the materials as well right so we have the tree we have two materials so i'm going to drag and drop this into our scene here and it looks pretty cool but it's definitely not that great so this is where our textures come in going to drag and drop our textures into the map it's going to create this tab here for the material I'm going to drag it up as well that's our texture that we deleted that is going to be the diffuse and the normal map diffuse map or the basic color or the base color and then the normal map here leaf texture i got the d and also the n so that goes for diffuse and normal so we're going to have the diffuse here and the normal map in here 
like that very simple but there's something that we have to do as well so if we apply that we go back to our tree here's added a texture but we have this green like shape to it that's what we have planes and then we just need to make a mass as well this texture is like has an opacity mass to it is actually transparent so i'm going to take this a and connect it to the opacity mask i'm going to click on this material node and we're going to make some changes here so for the blend normal we're going to change this to mass that's what's going to make this opacity mask and we're going to because it's a tree we're going to have a two-sided foliage and also two-sided we have it on both sides and i'm going to click apply now if we drag our tree on then there we go we have our tree i feel like there's a little bit broken but we'll come back to that too some other day so there we go we have our tree it looks pretty cool i am very happy with this and now we're going to make a pretty cool landscape but at the moment i'm just dragging out pretty much making terrain not so perfect not so flat i kind of want bumps in it as well it does look a bit crazy at the minute but i think well let's hopefully it will make sense very soon all right now we're going to go to our smooth tool and we're going to smooth them out something like that look pretty cool and then i have my camera like here maybe so this is the view that we're going to go for as well i'm going to kind of create a small little render not so much as a map but then as well you can make this into a tiley map if you like i'm going to Control c Control v and just drag it around i feel like there is a foliage option in unreal engine 5 that below landscape there used to be foliage that means you could drag this tree on uh, onto that foliage and then you could paint around trees as many as you wanted i haven't found any option i don't know if i'm missing it so if you do know in the comments please let me know i have not found it at all where you can create foliage at the minute the only way that i can find to do it is by copy and pasting every prop now you want to rotate them because you don't want it to be all the same as well maybe one on like a bit of a tilt now to make this a bit more realistic we can come down here and type in maybe like jungle because that's kind of the look that we're going for and i think this is actually looking quite nice like this one this is a really cool one. Oh wait i want to see what it looks like from the camera view so look at that already it's just added to the scene now the next thing i'm going to add is a stag or a pretty much a 3d or any kind of realistic prop that you want to add as well i have also animated the stag as well i tried to have it on a loop so it'd end in the same place it did take a little while to make this but i think it looks pretty good go to fbx like before with our tree i'm gonna go selected objects because it just makes it a bit easier obviously where we exported our stag animation i'm going to drag and drop that into here now this time we're going to change them settings that pop up so we want to click on import animation so the animation that is connected to our model we want to import that now there is a way to create animations within unreal editor but i'm not entirely sure how to do that as well i need to get more experience with the software but definitely i'll make a tutorial when i'm more experienced uh, animation that you can definitely tell is an animation by the post now so far you cannot uh, see the animation so we're going to have to launch the software or launch the session to see that animal move it as well i've made that stag way too big that i'm seeing from over there but you can tell it's animated that's the main thing that we're going for if i was making this world a bit better i would obviously paint as well the dirt and everything coming from the water add stones around it here is our animation a mountain of an animal but <laughs> this will do it's way too big but it's pretty cool i'm quite happy with my animation to be honest it does look somewhat realistic look at it is that they move as well look at that that's pretty much it if i want to go more in depth then i could add some sounds i'll probably make tutorials if you have enjoyed this please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial